What is up guys? PK here and in today's video Furnishing guide. That's right. Now at first I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit worried I thought this was gonna be super duper complicated to actually get to 200 furnishing in the single most effective way Now I did a couple I crushed a couple of numbers when I actually leveled it myself But truth be told I actually didn't go through the bother of crushing all of the numbers to ensure that I did it in the most effective way when I was leveling it. In other words, I was a little bit too lazy. But for the purposes of video making, I am never lazy. So I crushed all the numbers, I looked through all of it, and I concluded the single most effective manner with a tiny caveat. There's like a few levels where technically you could do something way more complicated for like six or seven levels where you'd have to go through like four different recipes for those couple of levels. That part I've skipped and found sort of a simplified version for those levels that makes it a lot easier to explain, also a lot easier to showcase, and it's just gonna be less of a pain for you to know exactly what to do, as well as the amount of different materials you need and such. So in other words, with that small caveat, this is the single most effective way to level it. Now, it's not too bad, so let's get to it. I, I, I'm lying, it's, it's actually really bad. It's not, it's not too complicated, that's the good part, but in terms of, uh, in terms of gold, it's bad. It's very bad. I'm dead. Make no mistake, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's very bad. I've talked about this before, it's like pouring all your hard-earned gold into a big black void, and then maybe you'll get a level and a half in furnishing. <laughs> but uh, let's move over here to the crafting station, also known as the workshop. Now, for the first 50 levels, it's actually pretty straightforward. You have two options, okay? Two options. Now, you're gonna start out by crafting something called Ash Stains, because these are required right here, 10 charcoal, four weak solvent. Now, depending on what you go for next, you're gonna craft either 14, aka 140, or 19, aka 190 um, of these Ash Stains. Now, after that, depending on whether you craft 14 or 19, you have two options, okay? First option is the ash wall shelf, okay? That's the one you see right here. Now, you would need to craft 184 of these, okay, to get to level 50. Now, if you do that, then you're gonna craft 19 of these ash stains, so you have 190 of them, uh, so that you can craft these 184 ash wall shelves, and that's gonna get you to level 50. That's going to require 2,760 timber, 920 iron ingots, and of course, all of the ash stains. Now, ash stains in of themselves are pretty easy to craft. They require 10 charcoal and four weak solvent, and that's gonna give you a total of 10 ash stains. Now, your other option, which requires a recipe, is rickety wooden wall shelves. Now, these rickety wooden wall shelves have a recipe called shelf schematic, colon shelf right um, and if you're going for these you will need to craft 15 of those ash stains because you need to craft 150 of these riggedy wooden wall shelves okay so if that's the case you're going to start out with the 15 ash stains and then you're going to craft 150 149 sorry of these riggedy wooden wall shelves and the schematic is just called schematic colon shelf now that's going to get you to level 50. Now this is where it could be complicated, but it really doesn't have to be. So essentially from level 50 to level 56, you're gonna be crafting maple stains. More specifically, you're gonna be crafting exactly 100 maple stains, and that's gonna give you a thousand. Right? Now you're not gonna need a thousand, but that is the single easiest way to do it, and you are gonna need a bunch of them for the following 44 levels in order to get to 100. Okay, so in order to craft these 100 maple stains, that's a thousand weak solvent and 400 oil. Okay, so now you're level 56. Now at level 56, you have two options. Both of them require a schematic, but it's not an expensive schematic, okay? And trust me, this is an investment that is definitely worth it. Now you're gonna go for one of two schematics, okay? Either you need this schematic stump stool, okay? And that's gonna teach you to make tree stump side tables. Tree. That's this one right here. Now it's important that you don't confuse it for the tree stump table, which requires 10 steel, right? But gives the same amount of XP. The difference between 10 solvent and 10 steel is quite significant price-wise. So make sure it's the right one. It's called the schematic colon stump stool, okay? 
then the other option you have is the cherry sheets bunk bed. Now, the reason you want to go for the cherry sheets bunk bed is because if you compare this schematic to other equivalent schematics and they give the same amount of XP as you can see here, then all of the other schematics in that category here, you see 56, 35 lumber, 10 iron ingots, two maple stains. But look, if we compare it to all of the other schematics, they all need 10 steel instead of 10 iron, right? Which makes this one significantly cheaper compared to all of the equivalent schematics. And they give the same amount of finishing XP. But the tree stump side tables are slightly cheaper um, and you, you need to craft an equivalent amount. You can see here, they give the exact same amount of XP. Um, but you're essentially trading 10 solvent for 10 iron ingots. And almost certainly, the solvent is going to be cheaper than the iron ingots. Assuming that's the case, that's the one you want to go for. But if you decide to go, or perhaps you just have the drop uh, for the cherry sheets bunk bed, that's the one called schematic colon maple bed 01. Well, then that's your other option. Now, once you get to 100, there's no more secrets, no more bullshit, no more hidden schematics, no more secret techniques. From here on out, there's really only one way to go. Okay, and trust me, I've, I've crushed the numbers. I've looked at pretty much every conceivable schematic and recipe in the game, whether we're talking artifact items or, and like really, I've looked at pretty much all of them, and I mean that. And the single most effective way to do it, there's no way around it, okay? Oak stains. Oak stains all the way from 100 to 150. Now that's not gonna be cheap, okay? We're talking 3,179. Or, you know, if you actually count up to 10, then 31,790, of which you're likely going to throw away at least 30,000, maybe keep a thousand just for, you know, you never know, right? Uh, but essentially, that's what you're gonna be crafting to get it to 150, and that is 31,790 potent solvent and 12,716 oil. Now, oil, at least on my server, goes for almost a gold apiece, sometimes more than a gold. Okay, so even just that is, is 13,000 gold. Now, of course, you can farm a bunch of it if you do frequent chest runs in different areas. Uh, of course, for the, uh, the potent solvent specifically, you want to go between level 35 and 55 areas in order to get the potent solvent, but really, buy orders, okay, buy orders. Now, there's only really one place you're going to get oil. One place, and one place only, and I think you all knew this already, and that's Weaver's Fen. Here's the problem though, okay, I did a test. When I was leveling furnishing, I decided, you know what, this is too expensive, okay, there's too much gold, I'm gonna go farm the ore. So I went to Weaver's Fen at 5 o'clock in the morning in order for the area to be as least contested as possible. I went there with the highest tier of proficiency booster potions, as well as proficiency boosting on my mining pick, and I farmed for over an hour, okay? That gave me 2,000 oil, okay? 2,000 oil. That means you would need to farm for around six hours where you do nothing but farm oil if you were going to farm this yourself, okay? Now that's gonna get you to 150. Then we get to the final 50 levels where again, there is no secrets here. There's no easy way around it. What you're going to be doing is quite simple. Mahogany stains, you guessed it. Now, the good thing about mahogany stains as opposed to oak stains is that pure solvent is going to be more readily available simply because of the daily chest runs that people do in Shatter Mountain that gives them pure solvent. Very few people outside of people level, uh, leveling furnishing are going to need that much solvent. Even if you do stone cutting, even if you do jewel crafting, like the, the numbers we're talking about here when you cut jewels are just not comparable to doing furnishing, okay? Like, like I remember I've done chest runs for the longest time and, and I've done so much stone cutting. Like I had stone cutting 200 at latest two weeks after release, right? And I remember considering just throwing away 5,000 solvent because I had 5,000 solvent and it was filling up in my inventory. And at that point, I already filled up like two or three uh, stations, like random outposts with these materials that I had no use for. And thankfully I didn't. So that when I actually decided to level my furnishing, I had uh, quite a bit of pure solvent, but not nearly enough, not nearly enough. And one day I decided, you know what, this is taking too long. Because in order to get from 150 to 200, you're going to need 49,530 pure solvent. Sure, I had a few thousand stocked up, but I need 49,000. 
<laughs> Not to mention uh, 19,812 oil. Yeah, that, that means in total you're gonna need almost 33,000 oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, you know, let's, let's, let's say you can actually farm 2000 oil an hour, which in of itself is a bit questionable because that, that's assuming highest tier of proficiency boosters, a really good mining pick with proficiency. It assumes that none of it is contested. Uh, so there's a lot of assumptions there to say 2000 an hour, but even at 2000 an hour, that's still 15 hours of farming nothing but oil. Yeah, that's, that, that's a lot of oil. And a lot of pure solvent. Now, for the pure solvent, there's you gotta buy it. Okay, the oil I can understand. Like if you want to farm the oil, all power to you. I I'll even say I respect that. Like start now because you're gonna need it. Even if you're in the beginning, start farming oil now. Start stockpiling it because you're gonna need a lot of it. But the pure solvent, just buy it. Honestly, pure solvent is dirt cheap. Use bio waters always. Always, I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. I keep telling all of my friends, they finally started to open up to the power of bio orders, okay? Like we all know the feeling that, but I wanna craft now, right? I wanna, I wanna get this over now, I'm ready to craft now. So I'm gonna go and then I'm just gonna buy. No, 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 you need to buy 49,500 of this, okay? For, for the love of God, do not just buy it. Go and put in a buy order for 10,000 pure solvent at a time, okay? That is so much, so much better, so much cheaper, so much more effective. The same if you want to supplement uh, the oil you farm, because you should definitely farm some of the oil, because unless you just, you know, have 20,000 gold lying around that you want to spend on oil, then you should definitely farm a bunch of the oil, right? But if you want to get it done effectively, then, you know, you can put in some, some buy orders depending on the price of oil on your server, depending on how contested the buy orders for oil are. Do some buy orders for oil, right? Um, uh, you're also going to need, roughly speaking, depending on depending on the path you take, you're going to need, roughly speaking, 49,000 greenwood. Slightly less, actually, sorry, because of the 20% proc chance when you turn greenwood. That's the raw number, assuming 0% chance. So really, it's going to be closer to like 40,000, 41, or 42,000 greenwood. Then you're going to need exactly, no matter the path you take, 18,620 aged wood. Up to 9,000 iron ore. It's going to vary a little bit, again, depending on the path you take. Again, a total of 32,928 oil, up to 1,406 weak solvent, exactly 31,790 potent solvent, and exactly 49,530 pure solvent. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to leveling furnishing. It's honestly not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. When I started running the numbers, I assumed that there was going to be some super complicated path filled with different schematics but actually that's not the case that's only really the case for the levels between 50 to 800 so uh, yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching this was a pretty simple guide honestly i thought it was going to be a lot more complicated but it wasn't thank god working on an engineering guide that's the one i believe is going to come up next in the guide department possibly that's not true actually possibly because of the new update depending on when exactly it hits I might be doing a new armoring guide, uh, not for leveling, but uh, there's a bunch of changes that are going to come in. And I think uh, I've had a good idea. So let's let's just say that if you're 200 armoring, if I were you, I put in buy orders. I, again, not going to tell you what to do with your gold, but if I were you, just saying, if I were you and you had 200 armoring, I would very, very quickly put in buy orders for 10,000 raw height, 10,000 iron height, 10,000 thick height and a fuck ton of H tenon. okay? Let's just say that with the new aptitude system, you're gonna want that armoring XP. Now, the reason I say armoring specifically, because the case, it's technically the same for weaponsmithing, but also not really, because you need two weapons. You need five pieces of armor. Armoring is way easier to get XP for, way easier. And what I'm talking about, for those of you that don't know, when you get to aptitude, like the final chest, the tier three chest, then there's a possibility. I don't know if it's for certain because that's impossible to test on the PTR. I've been in there, but it, it's nearly impossible to get to the point where you can actually get the final armoring or weaponsmithing uh, chest. But there is either a possibility, I believe possibility, and I say this because there's both purples and legendaries in the drop table of the tier three chest. 
but there's at the very least a possibility that every time you open that tier 3 chest, you will get one of the artifacts that allow you to craft a guaranteed legendary with a specific cosmetic and a guaranteed stat, okay? That's going to be so valuable. Like, they're going to be so valuable. I, I, I don't know what the price ratio is going to be between the materials for actually unlocking that chest and the actual artifact. The artifact should technically be worth more if it's not a guaranteed drop, but that's going to be so valuable, okay? That's going to be super duper valuable. Now, they, appear, they don't appear to be bound on drops, which means people might be selling them as well, but I've put in BioWars myself for, like, so much stuff related to leather so that I can get as much XP as possible in armoring because that's much, much cheaper than doing the same thing for weaponsmithing. Uh, and you need more armor than you need weapons. So, so yeah, just thought I would share that with you guys. That's not really furnishing related, just a little bit of an end game tip. And as always, I love you guys. Stay awesome.